Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today we are in my basement and I will be styling this console table as well as this round table here in the corner. Now this is a dinner table here in the corner, but we're not using it as a dinner table. This is where I sit sometimes and edit my videos. So I am going to style the table in a way which is comfortable and aesthetically pleasing for me to sit here and edit videos. Now you guys know I recently got my basement painted and if anyone is interested, the color is Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore. And this is the same color that I have throughout my home. Now, if you're wondering about that light situation in the corner, as well as the tablecloth, um, let me explain. So the light, I needed a light to shine down on my paperwork and my computer when I'm sitting over there editing videos. So I had my husband put together something that will shine down on the table. Now, I do plan to switch that out, but for now, that's what I have. Um, I understand there's some pretty lights at Ikea and I do plan on making a trip there. I just haven't really had a chance. I've never been to Ikea, so I'm excited to go there because I have seen a couple lights that I thought might work for this situation. Now, as far as the table, I have the tablecloth on there because I was trying to decide if I wanted a white table or if I wanted to paint it black. So I haven't decided, so I'm working with the light color for now. And then once I live with the basement for a while, I'll know if I want it white or if I want it to be black. Okay, so this painting. Now you guys might remember this painting from a haul maybe a month or so ago. And then I shared it in my kitchen when I added black to the kitchen. I had this painting over the fireplace, but I told you it would be for the basement. And so I decided to put it here. And you guys, if you saw my latest video, then you noticed that um, this console, I not thrifted, but I picked up from a consignment shop so let's go ahead and get started so you see a theme it's neutrals with black and you know shades of tan ivory white taupe gray cream what have you it's a neutral color palette and that is my preference and so yeah I'm going to style these two areas and I may give you two options on the console table. Okay, so I have the lamp on one side and I'm anchoring the other side with a vase with greenery that is pretty much in the same height and weight for balance. Okay, so if you guys are new here and you like decorating videos, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any videos. Okay, so this is my first look and I just like all of the elements that are there on the console. I like that gold that I added to the top of the console and I think it picks up very nicely on the beads. Just repeat that warm tone back into the beads and then I think that just helps to balance out the black and the white or cream that is on the console. And then of course the picture just ties it all together.
Okay, now you can place candles in the candlesticks if you like, but I'm just going to leave them empty and just let them serve as a decorative element. Okay, so that's one look. Let's see another look. Okay, so for this look, and so I thought we would just add a little bunny and soften him with a little greenery and then add the warmth of a candle. Okay, and then this is another version. If you're not into the bunny, but you do like a candle, this look works just as well. And I think the candle still adds the warmth, even without the greenery. Okay, so for this look, I decided to bring in a little warmer color in the vase and then bring in some different greens. I thought the um, olive branches went well with the horse head. And then the tray, you might remember the tray from yesterday's haul. It had the, it was kind of maybe that bamboo color was in the center and I just painted that in an ivory color just to make it blend more with what's going on. And then I added the scoop to the inside of the tray and then added the paper mache bowls and then a little light delicate flower. And I shared this in the haul yesterday as well. Okay, so let's move to style the table. Okay guys, so this is the look right now for the table. I needed to keep the front of the table clear so that I could place my laptop or paperwork. And then I just wanted a little warmth and ambiance to the back of the table. And I placed my candle here and this is a good place for the candle so that it is out of the way from my grandson. And then I just placed some, um, a little basket of succulents and then the little mushroom type flowers on top of a box where I keep pads and pencils. Now, if you have seen some of my past family room videos you may have noticed a gallery wall behind the table but I just wanted a change so I took it down but there was one picture that I really wanted to um, keep and so I just placed it at the back of the table it adds a little warmth and texture to the vignette and then it hides the cord a little bit but I think I can do better than that court when I get a new light. Okay, and so once again, if you guys are interested in anything that you saw here in the video today, refer back to the latest haul video. Okay, so I made a few changes on the console table. So let's see how it all came together.
Also guys, I wanted to just say thank you so much for all of the suggestions that you guys made in yesterday's video concerning the napkin rings. I got a lot of suggestions, really good suggestions. Also, someone has suggested that I switch out the knobs possibly on the console and I had already had that in mind. I was going to just paint these out in black. And so, yeah, you guys are really on top of it. And like I said before, you are the best subscribers. So thanks so much for all of your help, all of your love, and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.